Here we are once again probing the wild experimental world of hammered aluminum. This once again is 12 gauge. It's called brown color on Amazon, although it's kind of an antique copper color, which is perfect, exactly what I like. Let's use our brand new cutters that were gifted to us, like the pros have. Look at that. It's kind of like a bird. I want to eat some aluminum, please. Thank you. So, uh, how much are we gonna take? Again, I didn't plan this out. I just had this idea in my head, so let's see if it works. Let's take this much amount. So cut, your off, cut yourself a, a standard measurement of this much, which is uh, <laughs> about 10 and a half inches. That would be like 21 centimeters, 22 maybe. Make Start with our loop and just, just a tiny little loop, or a little loop. This loop is just going to be to hold, probably to hold the jump ring when we're done. And we're going to go right, completely at a right angle from the loop immediately. And we're going to come out about, how much? How much are we going to come out? About four inches. Let's be wild and come out four whole inches, eight centimeters, and then turn it and come all the way back. That's good, I like that. I'm gonna try to make this, pinch it kind of tight. You could make a, a tip, you could like really uh, get in there and make a sharp tip, but I, I kind of like the rounded one for this. Okay, see that, very easy. And the top here, we're gonna just make another loop, try to make this loop right next to the other loop. So, let's say, cut it again, yum, and make this little loop. I might not have cut enough, let's see, yeah, yeah, my, my second loop is a little bit, I'm going to have to uh, roll this a little, get the second loop where I want it to be, make sure you it's always better to cut off a little bit less than you think, because then, then when you come back, you can, um, there we go, that's better. Oh, I had this thing so straight until I, until I made that loop a little too short, and then I had to reposition everything. I think I'm getting it back, though. There we go. All right, so we want these two, when we're holding this straight out, Uh, I'm off camera. All I'm doing is just trying to straighten this back out again. Just very gentle little movements. There we go. So this is basically straight. And now these two loops are lining up side by side, which is what I wanted. Okay? All right. Now, again, this doesn't have to be as perfect as I'm making it. I'm just... Whatever. Let's see if that works. Okay, where's our um, our little um, anvil that we stole from the Keebler Elves? We're gonna get our hammer. All right. Oh, I almost forgot. Before we hammer this whole thing, let's make another one to match. Because once you hammer it, it changes size and shape a little bit. So cut off about the same amount again. But we didn't need all the ten and a half inches, but just to be on the safe side. Okay, genius. Now, if you want to get rid of these little shiny light parts where you cut through and the brown coating isn't showing, brown Sharpie is the best. It, not all Sharpies work on all metals, but brown Sharpie will just cover that right up. And also, if you scratch it by accident, you get like the silver showing. Get some brown sharp, like sand it first, make it smooth, and get some brown Sharpie. That's what I say. Anyway, let's get to hammering. Make sure you hammer on the proper surface you want to do on the, on the ground, on a concrete floor with some leather underneath your metal. It doesn't have to be a baby anvil. It can be like... Uh, door hinge that you nail to a block of wood or a little block of metal, whatever you find, whatever works. 
voila as you can see they got a little bent up in the hammering process so you can go back if you want this isn't completely vital because um, they're gonna they're gonna get all bent up and twisted anyway but for this first one let's just see if you want to make them straighter you can always even though they're really strong now and holding their shape you can still maneuver them a little bit if you're careful and you put a lot of good amount of pressure so I'm just trying to get these back to a slightly straighter how they were when I started before the hammering the hammering sounds like a horror movie horror movie if you're a aluminum parent and you got to tell your aluminum children a scary story Okay, grab a dowel or a marker or a pen. Let's see if this experiment works. And if it doesn't, then it's your fault, not mine. Press, press. Um, it's kind of slippery, hold it tight. I want to come down at a diagonal, a little bit of a diagonal, not too much of a diagonal. There we go, there we go. We want to get a nice, even wrap coming around like that and use some finger strength at the end okay oh that's stuck on the pen now well now you have a designer pen and just do great cool stuff with it. you can sell these designer pens like 20 bucks oh oh it came off maybe not no more designer pen all right turn this up turn this up turn up Put these together you want these to be together because that's where you're going to attach the jump ring for the final earring hook and this guy you want to kind of curl off and just a little bit more i would say curl them off into a point but now he's it's ruining the how pretty the rest of the design is so let's let's pull him back out so that we get more uniform all right these i'm feeling like we need to bring them more to the middle of the piece at this point we're just kind of sculpting this is kind of a sculpture and uh, we're just trying to bring them to that middle there whatever that means there we go all right so that's a little bit I don't like that let's print, pull them back out all right Get this to come a little bit more. Okay. You know what? Whatever. This is going to be imperfect. So we're just going to enjoy it the way it is and do the next one. Whee. All right. What did we do? I don't remember what we did. Something like this. Whoops. Here we go. Here we go. Get those together. Bring them a little bit more towards the middle. There we go. Hopefully that didn't mess up the design too much. Nope, the design looks good. The design looks intact. Bend this little corner more. I think we are good. Kind of mess with it with some more. Oh, yeah, this one came out even better. Look at that. Look, I'm getting better at this, sort of, kind of. Okay. 
Let's put, do it a, a jump ring. We don't need two jump rings this time because there's no front or back or medium or anything. It's all, it can twist any which way. So one jump ring will be good and then the earring hooks. You can put the earring hooks right on here, but most earring hooks, the loop is too small to fit over all that metal. I did end up adding an extra jump ring. So there's two jump rings, then the hook, because that, the one jump ring, they were kind of stiff and you kind of want them to swivel a little bit because that's part of the fun. You could literally add three or four jump rings and have them swivel like crazy. It's, it's totally up to you. Um, but anyway, I think I am gonna, you know what? I think I'm gonna add three jump rings and that'll be it. All right, here we go.